righty, let's take a look at this uh, question. We have the area of a cribbage board is 270 centimeters squared. The length is 17 centimeters greater than the width. So a cribbage board would be in the shape of a rectangle. So we're going to draw a rectangle. And they mention the area. When I hear area and then we know it's a rectangle, we're going to think length times width. Then they refer to the length is 17 centimeters greater than the width. So because they're comparing the length to the width, I'm going to call the width just W. And then that would mean the length, which would be 17 centimeters greater than that. So W plus 17. So now we have length and width in terms of W. So I'm going to write, oh, and we know area. So 270 would replace A in the equation for area. And then length would be replaced with W plus 17. And width is width, so W. Great, OK, so now we have an equation with just W in it. So we want to get it in the sort of general form, AX squared plus BX plus C equal to 0. So we're going to expand on the right-hand side, multiply the W through to get W squared plus 17W. Then we want to keep W squared positive, so we're going to subtract 270 to the right-hand side because we also need to have 0 on one side. There we go. Now we need to factor that. And if we can't factor, then we use quadratic formula. So, but I think we can. So w times w gives us w squared. Now we're multiplying to negative 270. The first thing that popped into my head was 10 times 27 because 270 ends in a 0. So 10 goes into that. And sure enough, 10 and 27, the difference between those two numbers is 17, which would give us that middle number. So we just need to have positive 17, so it would have to be positive 27, negative 10. So we'd have w minus 10, w plus 27. And now that it's factored and equal to 0, each factor could be 0, and therefore make the whole thing 0. So we branch it off into the two scenarios, either w minus 10 equals 0 or w plus 27 equals 0. Solve each of those little equations for w, add 10 on that first one, the other one subtract 27 from both sides, and we get two answers, w equals 10, w equals negative 27. But it is a sort of real life question, and w represents a width, so it doesn't make any sense that it would be negative, so can't have negative width is what I would write beside that, so we know why we're crossing it off, which leaves w equals 10 as our only answer. What was the question asking? What are the dimensions of the board? So if we draw our board, 10 would be the width, uh, units would be centimeters, and then w plus 17, so 10 plus 17, 27 centimeters would be the length. And there we go. Those would be your dimensions. Alrighty, I hope that helped.